Uh, let's beat yeah. those rivals. All right, let's talk about the Kern County Fair now. And uh, we've already had the first few days. Today was day five of the Kern County Fair. And La Mafia taking the Budweiser Pavilion stage as we speak right now. 17's Rob Hagan joins us now live from the Kern County Fair. Rob? That's right, Alex. You can hear the sweet sounds from La Mafia here on Sunday Fair Day. And today, I'll be your captain. Get ready to take a journey of the senses here on day five. Get ready for some of the most unique sights, sounds, tastes, and smells all in one place because everybody knows how fun the fair is. Everybody has had a grilled cheese sandwich. We had to throw a little spin on it, and I can guarantee most everybody has never had a rainbow grilled cheese. Get ready to eat with your eyes and follow your stomach to Maddie Boo's, where the ingredients are magical. I get the rainbow grilled cheese because they have a lot of colors, and it's cool. Most regular cheese comes from cows. Uh, the rainbow grilled cheese, though, comes from unicorns. <laughs> All right. Now for the best little ride at the fair for the little ones. Now they safely buckle them in, and he just loves animals. <laughs> Cute priceless pics are also a bonus at the Happy Pony Rides. Now on to something new this year at the fair, and it's not for the faint of heart. For our giant snake enclosure, we have five giant snakes. The longest one's the 23-footer, 263 pounds. Uh, her name is Tiny. Angeline Tran says it takes a team of up to eight people to handle the monster snake known as Tiny. But this brave animal expert also has something for the wimps. So this is a ball python. Her name is Sunshine. She's just a regular banana ball python on fully grown. Uh, we just keep her out so people can know what the texture is like for these snakes. Finally, I searched for the king of the fair. No, not that guy. The champion prized pig. I didn't find the king, but I found Prince. I made it into final drive. I didn't make it, quite make it to the champion, but um, he did good. He did good. Diego Gomez, president of the Wasco FFA, knows a thing or two about showing off your swine. It takes a whole lot of time, dedication, and money. You had to put in a lot of time, work, hours, um, just not, a, not over the past few months, but like since the beginning of summer, since last year, since even February. Judges are looking for muscle mass, skeletal structure, and showmanship. And even though Prince and Chicha, short for Chicharone, didn't win, there's always next year. And most importantly, when you're at the fair, remember to wear the right shoes and definitely watch where you step. That's right, folks. There are a ton of landmines out here to watch out for. Now it is Sunday Fair Day, and you know what that means? Seven more days of fair fun. And the search for the prize pig continues on Monday with the Kern County Bread and Fed. Until then, live at the fair, Rob Higgins, 17 News. Alex.